In recent years, various actual combat situations have proven that howitzers are still the main heavy firepower delivery equipment for ground combat, and cannot be replaced in the short term. Currently, howitzers are mainly divided into heavy howitzers with a caliber of 152mm or 155mm, and widely used 105mm lightweight howitzers. The former has advantages in range and power, while the latter has advantages in mobility due to its compact size. In 1995, the South African company Denel planned to develop a 105mm lightweight howitzer, hoping to increase the range of the cannon to the level of a heavy howitzer while retaining the ammunition power. This cannon is the G7 lightweight howitzer, also known as LEO, Light Experimental Ordnance. The G7 is a well-performing towed cannon, weighing 3,800 kilograms, with a split trail carriage, a 52 caliber barrel, and a length of 5.46 meters, not including the muzzle brake. The muzzle is equipped with a pepper shaker type muzzle brake, allowing for both indirect and direct fire. The cannon has excellent firing performance, with an elevation angle of minus 5 degrees to 75 degrees, a horizontal firing range of 40 degrees, and a crew of 5. It has a maximum firing rate of 6 rounds per minute, a muzzle velocity of 950 meters per second, a standard range of 24 kilometers, and a maximum range of 30 kilometers when firing base bleed rounds. This range is on par with a 39 caliber 155 mm howitzer, far exceeding the conventional 105 lightweight howitzer. For example, the American M119 105 mm howitzer, which entered service in 1990, has a maximum range of 19.5 km when firing extended range ammunition, showing a significant difference. However, the G7 does not have an advantage in terms of weight. For example, the previously mentioned M119 combat weight is only 1.86 tons, less than half of the G7. Although the prototype cannon conducted test firings in 1997, subsequent work continued for many years, and it made its first public appearance in March 2001. The focus of the subsequent development work will be on reducing the weight of the cannon. The company hopes to compress the weight to within 2,500 kg. If this goal can be achieved, then the G7 will undoubtedly be very attractive. Denel is also collaborating with General Dynamics to develop a wheeled self-propelled howitzer. Denel is responsible for developing a turret with the G7 cannon, while General Dynamics will provide an 8x8 wheeled chassis. Denel also plans to mount the G7 cannon on the South African Roycat wheeled armored vehicle. Although countries including South Africa and the United States have shown interest in the G7 howitzer, the development work on the cannon has been delayed and has not been finalized. The self-propelled artillery plan has also not been realized, and there is still no information about the production and sale of the cannon. It seems that the project has reached a stalemate.